Today we are going to talk about aquaponics. Aquaponics is basically a system where fish and vegetables depend on each other in a recirculating system. So water containing nutrients come from the fish tanks and is pumped into the vegetable garden where the vegetables obtain the manure and clean the water where, and then it goes back to where the fish are. So it's like a recirculating system which encompasses the benefits to the fish and also benefits to the vegetables. I'll be showing you how the system works. Thank you. We will start with the fish rearing tank or unit because rearing fish is our business. Water coming from the tanks contain a lot of wastes and nutrients. The first step therefore is to pass it through a filtration unit to remove the solid waste so that the nutrients can then proceed to the next step. From the filtration unit, the water then moves to the lower chamber which contains a submersible pump. This is a small pump, it can be small, it can be big. It is then pumped to a vertical garden containing our vegetables. The water gets into the garden at the topmost level from where it moves down by gravity. As this water flows through the system, nutrients are removed gradually by the roots of the plants which protrude into the moving water. So from the top level, the water moves to the next level as more nutrients are removed. And then once it gets to the end of the second level, it moves to the third level until it gets to the bottom and last level. When it gets to the bottom of the system, most of the nutrients have been removed. It then goes back to the fish rearing tanks. So basically in this system, plants benefit by getting nutrients from the fish while the fish benefit by having the water cleaned for them. It is a win-win situation. This is the same aquaponic system after being installed at our county government fish hatchery and aquaculture training center in Vega County, Kenya. As you can see, the fish are quite happy moving around happily, showing that the system is actually favoring them. We have made some modifications. For instance, we have installed an automatic feeder that feeds the fish at intervals as determined by the settings. Also on the inlet system, we have modified the pipe so that the water coming into the system goes through a perforated pipe. This allows for the water to get more oxygen in the process of aeration and it also initiates a rotating motion that drives the dirty water towards the center where the pump is located and that same water can be pumped easily to the crops that we have planted in our vertical garden. In my next video, I will be discussing how to set up a simple aquaponic system, a step-by-step -step procedure. I will also discuss the different designs of aquaponic systems that you can easily adopt within your compound or within your farm. The demonstrations used in this video have been made possible through facilitation from the county government of Vihiga located in western Kenya. 
The county government of Vihiga has made aquaculture promotion one of its priority areas and has set up a fish, hatchery and aquaculture training center within the county. At this facility, farmers can buy fingerlings at subsidized prices and also receive customized training in aquaculture. The facility is also available for students, farmers from outside the county and other interested parties.